What a lot of people don't know actually is that although missing data may all look the same, um, there are essentially three different types to consider. So the first one is missing completely at random, which means that the missingness is completely unrelated to any observed or unobserved values of data. Imagine that you are filling in a survey and you unintentionally skip a question. That would be missing completely at random. Then you have missing at random. And that means that the missingness can be explained by some observed features in a data set. Let's imagine um, a tobacco study where you have the age of the participant and how many cigarettes they smoke a day. You may actually find that younger people don't report their values as often. And that is uh, an example of the missing at random mechanism. And finally, you have the missing not at random where the missingness itself is related to the, the missing data. So imagine for the tobacco study that participants who smoke the most are less likely to disclose that information.